What up, party people? What up, party people? It's your boy Nick here, me and the movies. Once again at the AMC Ontario 30 Dining and Dolby Theaters here to catch us a flip. Well, yeah, it's out now. Good boys is popping. It's in theaters. And we're here to check it on out here at the AMC Ontario 30 Dining and Theaters. Yo, this this uh, this trailer just had me rolling, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, Brie Lawson is not too happy with that young gentleman right there. Uh, right there. <laughs> Because, yeah, well, this is everything she's against. <laughs> but, yeah, because they did that movie, The Room, together, whatever. But, yeah, um, Seth Rogen produced this along with Evan Goldberg, I believe. Um, and, yeah, we're about to get in there because this heat is cracking right now. This spotlight I'm under, let's get in this movie, Good Boys, right now. These little three, uh, little sixth graders, or I don't know what grade they're in. They seem like just too young to be doing the things that they're doing in this film. So let's go check them all out. Good boys. Check out Good Boys, starting right now. Let's get in there. Oh, yeah. Yo, Good Boys was... It was cool. It was dope. It was funny. Further thoughts, further thoughts. Oh yeah, just came out of Good Boys, and uh, it was pretty cool, I like that. It was kind of at 10 o'clock, you know what I mean? It was funny, but it really wasn't funny all the way through like the uh, trailer suggests. Or I should say not the trailer suggests, but it wasn't really funny all the way through like the marketing uh, TV spot suggests. It was funny, but for the most part, uh, for me personally, the funny was in the trailer. They they gave gave you most of the funny stuff in the trailer. Uh, of course, you got a little more drawn out character when you watch the film, and uh, you got to see Jacob Tremblay kind of being the leader of the pack, uh, the one who's kind of maturing more than uh, in, any of the other uh, other three, uh, other two. Um, but it, it was really funny though. It was really funny. The funniest part was probably the flat, the frat uh, house scene where Jacob kind of stood up and pulled out the pulled out the <laughs> with the what you call it. I ain't gonna spoil it for you. But it was pretty funny. Um, it could have been a tighter story, and you know, just without it was a little bit of excess on this film. You know, what I mean, that didn't make it tight all the way through. But I, I did understand what they were trying to do. Um, Good Boys was pretty funny, though. I mean, it's definitely for adolescents, for kids that this age. If you want to take the risk and let them see this, then yeah, it might be uh, kind of helping hand into ushering in that talk. You know what I mean? But uh, it was some crazy shit going on. It, you know anal beads and all this kind of madness, you know what I mean? It was just ridiculous. I definitely would have took my son if he was this age to see this film and just and say, yes, yeah, son, this is what you got to look, to look forward to, you know what I mean? And um, the final scene with, with Jacob Tremblay's character, Max, uh, you know, he, he stepped up to the plate and kissed the girl he wanted to kiss. And then uh, not, not long after that, you got the realization of what it's all about afterwards. So, you know, it, it goes. Anyways, yeah, that's that's good boys for you. Your boy Nikki and me in the movies. We'll catch y'all next time, next flick. Yeah, yeah.